I'm Kasia Gola and today I'll be talking about new technology trends in fashion for 2025. This presentation is a result of my experience working with companies such as Glamour Magazine, Converse or Microsoft. Daily I educate about fashion technology at Geek Go Chic and implement virtual trends for fashion and footwear at Worthit. Now that I've introduced myself, let's start. The fashion industry is becoming increasingly polarized. As I'm writing the script for this video, the top 20 publicly traded fashion companies are worth 88% of the entire fashion market. These brands are leading the way in implementing new technologies to compete with each other and other fashion companies. And in 2025, they will continue to do so. In this video, I'll discuss 11 technologies that will shape the fashion industry in 2025. Some of these technologies will be implemented simply as proof of concepts, POCs, while others are mature enough to become a core part of retail and marketing strategies for fashion brands. And fashion brands love fashion tech, although this relationship isn't always easy. It often takes months or even years for the hype around new technology in the media to translate into real use cases within the fashion industry. Usually large fashion brands are the ones that implement these technologies first. They search the internet and attend events like Web Summit or Viva Technology to discover the best fashion startups. Then they discuss the technology with the startup, test it and start a proof of concept. If everything works well and the technology proves beneficial to the brand's business, it is implemented on a larger scale. Some of the technologies I'll be discussing today are new and will likely to be implemented as POCs this year, while others are well known and will probably see more widespread adoption. So what are these new technologies that will shape the fashion industry in 2025? The first fashion technology trend for 2025 is diffusion models for e-commerce and fashion marketing. Diffusion models allow to create photos, videos and graphics from prompts or by using existing graphics, photos or videos as input. Examples include Flux, Stable Diffusion, OpenAI's DALI and Adobe Firefly. To optimize costs, boost sales and reduce return rates, fashion companies will test solutions like the one being developed by Google, which enables users to visualize clothes on various models with different body shapes and skin tones. Diffusion models have become sophisticated enough that by the end of 2025, fashion brands will start implementing virtual trials such as the one we are developing at Wearfit. Yes, a little bit of self-promotion here. Our trial allows users to swap clothes on their photos. Users upload a photo and the clothes in the image are replaced with items from e-commerce pack shots. This type of technology helps optimize sales and decreases return rates. But there are simple examples. You can use table diffusion to design graphics for social media, create a basic video with Sora, or develop custom solutions with the help of Flux. Other technology that will play a significant role in the fashion industry in 2025 is predictive AI and instant fashion. Instant fashion represents the future of the industry, but it's bad news for the environment and consumers' health. Fast fashion companies will aim to emulate Shein's production, marketing and sales models to compete with this rapidly growing platform. Shein leverages predictive AI, including tools that identify and replicate the most commercially promising designs alongside aggressive social media marketing strategies. It's an AI-driven company. Shein produces approximately 1,300,000 designs per year, far surpassing its competitors. To keep up, competitors are likely to pivot towards on-demand fashion while increasingly incorporating AI to streamline their processes and optimize their offerings. The next trend is fashion supply chain automation. The industry supply chain urgently needs modernization, especially with the rise of instant fashion, which often leads to unethical working conditions in countries like Bangladesh and contributes to fashion waste, making the industry unsustainable. AI, including predictive AI, is a key technology that can help create a more sustainable supply chain. For instance, SmartX AI, a startup founded in 2018, 
offers a real-time textile defect detection solution. This innovation reduces textile waste, CO2 emissions, energy and water usage and overall costs. Despite such advancements, the fashion supply chain remains underdeveloped and in dire need of further improvements. To meet even a portion of their 2030 sustainability goals, companies need to begin adopting AI-driven solutions like this without delay. Next, we have Agentic AI. Agentic AI refers to autonomous AI that takes actions based on the goals defined by the user. It functions like the most well-informed and efficient analyst, marketer, sales manager, or practically anything else you can imagine. For example, Agentic AI can take a graphic design or text and autonomously distribute them to the best performing outlets based on real-time data. It can analyze a brand retail situation and take action accordingly all on its own. In retail, Agentic AI can streamline the shopping experience by anticipating customer needs, autonomously managing purchases, delivering hyper-personalized recommendations, providing proactive assistance, and curating expert advice from various sources. In 2025, Agentic AI will primarily be utilized in fashion retail and marketing as part of POC projects. And just to back up my perspective, Gartner also recognized Agentic AI as one of the top technologies of 2025. Another trend is spatial computing, and by that I mean 3D technologies and augmented reality. Even though most phones used by consumers are still not very powerful smartphones, the majority of which run on Android, more than 1 billion people will use augmented reality in 2025. In recent years, fashion brands have been experimenting with social media filters. At Worth It's Where I Work, over the past three years, we've had many companies inquire about AR virtual trends for footwear, backpacks, bags, and other accessories. From our experience, virtual trends can boost sales by even 500%, reduce return rates, and help customers make more thoughtful purchases. In 2025, more brands will recognize the value of augmented reality in fashion and footwear and implement virtual trends in their stores. This trend is becoming increasingly accessible thanks to advancements in rotoscopy and of course AI. Additionally, more designers are adopting tools like Cloth3D or Browseware as their go-to platforms for creating clothes and shoes. Digital fashion is no longer a novelty in the industry. Some larger brands are already enabling customers to virtually try on footwear and fashion, and by the end of 2025, the technology will become even more widespread among major companies. The next trend is games. Games are becoming the new social media. In Europe, 53% of population aged 6 to 64 plays games. By the end of 2025, video game market revenue is projected to reach more than $300 billion in euros. Major brands like Louis Vuitton, Montclair, Gucci, Zara, Nike, and Adidas are already collaborating with games like Fortnite, Roblox, or Zepetto. These partnerships allow players to purchase digital clothing known as skins or interact with brands through dedicated spaces or worlds created within these games. In platforms like Roblox, users themselves generate and sell digital clothing. This user-generated content enables creators to earn Robux, the virtual currency of Roblox. Other users buy these digital clothes and frequently change their avatar's outfits. Roblox and Parsons conducted the study focused on Generation Z players of Roblox. In the report resulting from this research, it was found that 49% of Roblox users change their digital clothes at least once a week. This shows that Roblox players take the game seriously and it holds a significant role for Generation Z. Since even more people from Generation Alpha are playing games, this trend is expected to continue growing. The next trend is blockchain. Yes, blockchain again. Counterfeiting is a huge problem in the fashion industry. Nearly all counterfeit products are treated with toxic chemicals that pose serious health risks. 
This issue cost the European Union more than 430,000 job losses and 60 billion euros per year. Digital passports or blockchain certificates, if you will, can help reduce counterfeiting and luxury brands are already starting to adopt this technology. Startups like Ariane are aiding to fight against counterfeiting. Blockchain technology allows for tracking purchase products and I consider Ariane is one of the top startups to watch in 2025. You can find the full list on my Instagram. Another area where blockchain is making an impact in the fashion industry is cryptocurrencies. While not new to fashion, cryptocurrencies gain traction with brands like Gucci and Balenciaga already accepting crypto payments. As I'm writing this script on January 19, 2025, Bitcoin is valued more than 96,000 euros, 99,000 dollars. Cryptocurrencies were already influential, but they thrive even more following Donald Trump's presidential election win in 2024. What's losing momentum in 2025, however, are NFTs. According to Nansen, 79% of NFT collections remain unsold, leading to falling prices. That said, NFTs won't disappear entirely. Instead, the term NFT will fade and the technology will shift toward engaging clients and building customer loyalty rather than serving as investment items. There is a trend that has been around for a while but is poised to grow significantly in 2025. It's social shopping, which involves selling through social media, and live stream shopping, which involves selling goods via live video on social media and other platforms. Both approaches are not easy for the fashion industry. Social shopping makes brands dependent on social media algorithms or ads, while live stream shopping, although tempting for fashion retailers, can be quite risky. Nevertheless, both will be among the main trends for 2025. Since social commerce is already familiar to most of us, I will focus on live stream shopping, which can, of course, be part of social commerce. Social shopping in the US is expected to reach a value of $69 billion, is approximately 66.7 billion euros. Usually, brands hire influencers for this campaign. Notably, 41% of Gen Z trust influencer recommendations more than traditional ads. That's why brands like Zara started experimenting with live stream shopping in 2023 in China and then brought it to Europe and the US in 2024. In China, Zara events involved 70 individuals and featured 1,000 square meter setup. In Europe and the US in 2024, the live stream commerce campaign featured Kaya Gerber and Cindy Crawford. As I mentioned, live stream commerce is not simple, quite the opposite. In North America, conversion rates from live stream shopping can reach 40%. However, in certain categories, the return rate can be as high as 80%. In January 2025, Wanot, a live stream shopping app, raised $265 million, about 260 million euros, at valuation almost $5 billion. The next important tech-related topic in the fashion industry in 2025 is cybersecurity. According to the Cloudflare blog, the solution mitigated more than 5 million HTTP DDoS attacks, comparing over 26 trillion requests. In 2025, partly due to political factors, cybersecurity will be one of the main challenges for fashion e-commerce companies, though it won't be limited to them. Threats will include API attacks, DOS and DDoS attacks, bots that capture user data, malware, social engineering aimed at e-commerce employees, financial fraud and more. To mitigate these problems, or at least some of them, fashion brands will need to use secure payment processors, firewalls, digital signatures, antivirus programs, encryption tools, access management software, and crucially, educate their employees. The next trends are wearables and new business models of tech companies. I was talking about that two years ago, but it's still worth mentioning it right now. Big tech companies like Apple and Google are encroaching on the fashion industry by creating both software for wearable technologies and wearable hardware. 
Wearable technology refers to clothing and accessories that function as hardware and offer more than just aesthetic value. Examples include smart bands, smart watches, hearables such as AirPods or smart clothing. By creating wearables or operating system for them, tech companies are growing their businesses, diversifying their revenue streams and entering markets beyond pure technology. Wearables market is growing each year. In 2025, it is projected to reach $219 billion, which is approximately 213 billion euros. Companies like Apple and Google are influencing not only the fashion industry, but also fitness, health, finance, and education. This expansion has given rise to new business models. For example, fashion meets technology and payment services, allowing us to make purchases with a watch. However, this raises questions about potential monopolies, as well as ethical, political and sociological concerns, including issues related to personal data ownership. The last technology poised to shape the fashion industry in 2025 is voice assistant. They are nothing new for retailers on platforms such as Amazon, where you can ask Alexa to purchase almost anything. However, in the era of ChatGPT-powered Apple intelligence, interacting with Siri has become more natural than ever before. Of course, Siri has never been hailed as a great product, so any upgrade now feels revolutionary. Why is Apple intelligence important? Historically, Apple has not been the first to implement new technologies, yet the company still leads consumer tech trends, just as it did with the iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch. Even though Apple intelligence is still in its early stages, it shows great promise and could partly transform the voice user interface, potentially leading consumers to shop via voice assistant. Companies are already seeing website traffic driven by ChatGPT and voice assistants are the next logical steps. This shift will have implications for SEO, prompting fashion brands to write product descriptions and other content in a voice assistant friendly way. Brands need to prepare as though they aim to sell via Siri. Although voice assistants won't be the primary source of sales in 2025, we are certainly on the path toward that reality. So here were 11 fashion technology trends for 2025. I'd appreciate if you leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Of course, thumbs up are also important and welcome. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me via LinkedIn or Instagram. These are the social media platforms I use most in 2025. I hope you found this video interesting and thanks for listening.